Good day, engineers. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang i-discuss natin will be the Terzaghi's bearing capacity equation, which is one of the uh, well-known uh, equations in determining the ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. So, this was uh, presented or it is a theory presented by uh, Carl von Terzaghi and it is a comprehensive theory of the ultimate bearing capacity and this is for shallow foundation. So, si Terzaghi, inaral niya yung bearing capacity theory and he based it on the following assumption. So, the first assumption is the embedment of the foundation, D sub F, is less than or equal to the foundation width which is B. In the current practice, Terzaghi's bearing capacity theory can still be used if D is lesser than or equal to 3B. So, dito sa first assumption ni Terzaghi, uh, sabi dito, yung uh, embedment of the foundation is less than or equal to the foundation with B. So, ibig sabihin, we have, or sa Terzaghi, syempre, shallow foundation nga siya. So, ibig sabihin, tinitignan natin yung kung ano yung D sub F, so, which is on the figure shown, siya yung embedment from the natural grade line to the base of the footing, so, which is ito. So, yan yung embedment depth ng footing natin. And according to Terzaghi's theory, that should be lesser than or equal to its base or the width of the footing. But in the current practice, uh, yung Terzaghi, pwede pa siyang gamitin if D sub F or on other textbook kasi that is D. So, which is lesser than or equal to 3B. So, that is the first assumption ni Terzaghi uh, regarding his bearing capacity equation. The next assumption is the soil beneath the foundation is a homogeneous and uh, semi-infinite and isotropic. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung sa part ng homogeneous, So, that means it consists of parts with the same kind. So, you would notice dun sa mga problems na isosolve natin regarding the ultimate bearing capacity for shallow foundation using the Terzaghi's, uh, Terzaghi's equation. Isa lang yung uh, unit weight ng soil. Nagkakaroon lang siya ng ibang unit weight kapag ah, naging saturated yung soil or visible yung water table within the vicinity of our uh, foundation or dun sa kinukuha na natin ng bearing capacity or dun sa depth na kinukuha na natin ng bearing capacity. So, homogeneous uh, meaning same parts or consisting of parts of the same kind. So, it is same as on uh, the part of isotropic Sabi kasi sa isotropic, having the same physical property. So, yun yung uh, sabi dun sa isotropic. So, yun yung assumption ni uh, Terzaghi regarding ah uh, his ultimate bearing capacity equation. Andun din yung part na semi-infinite. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi natin sure ko hanggang saan yung extent nung bearing capacity na yun. So, kaya siya semi-infinite. Meron siyang mga lengths or depth na given, pero yung length 
kung hanggang saan yon is uh, semi-infinite, hindi siya uh, determined or hindi given kung ano yung length nung pagkukuha na natin nung bearing capacity. Next, the load of th- on the foundation is concentric and vertical. As you can see from this figure, concentric yung load meaning uh, wala siyang eccentricity. So, dumadaan siya dun sa gitna ng footing yung vertical uh, yung load natin or yung actual load. Then, vertical, hindi siya pwede on uh, inclined uh, actual loads or inclined loads. Kasi, Tersagi assumed it to be concentric and uh, vertical. Ibig sabihin, walang eccentricity. Uh, next, the problem is two-dimensional. So, this is two-dimensional or 2D lang. So, all figures is on the axis of dx and the y or on the plane x, y. So, since this is a two-dimensional problem. Next, the base of the footing is rough. So, that means uh, may involve na part ng friction kaya ginagamit din natin yung internal friction ng soil. So, we assume that this one is or the base of the footing is rough and not on the uh, smooth side. So, yun yung assumption ni Tersagi while creating his equation. Next, the overburden pressure at foundation level is equivalent to a surcharge load. So, ano ibig sabihin ng part na to? So, ang reference point natin lagi for bearing capacity unlike the uh, unlike uh, our previous topics uh, ang surcharge load kasi sa previous topics tinitignan natin kung ano lang yung nasa ibabaw ng uh, soil natin pero for this one ang reference point lagi natin is yung base ng footing or yung pinaka uh, ilalim which is ito so dito tayo lagi nagbe-base at kung ano man yung nakapatong sa ibabaw niya yun yung mga overburden pressure so katulad dito we have an overburden pressure from the soil itself kasi wala pa namang thickness na binigay sa atin kung anong thickness ng footing so hindi pa siya kasama dun sa overburden pressure na dinadala nung soil natin or dinadala nung soil na nasa may base ng footing so that means ang overburden pressure lang dito will be the soil itself which will be gamma times uh, df so that will be for uh, this assumption then next the foundation has a horizontal base on a ground uh, on a level ground surface so as you can see horizontal naman siya and level yung uh, ground surface so pantay siya hindi siya inclined and uh, other assumptions uh, horizontal yung base and it is leveled next the columns law is strictly valid uh, so the tau is c plus uh, sigma tangent phi so valid pa rin dito yung assumptions or valid pa rin dito yung columns law for uh, the bearing capacity assumption. So, nagagamit pa rin natin dito yung pagkuha ng shear coming from our previous topic on the shear strength of soil. Next, the general shear failure is the failure mode for the foundation. So, tersaging, uh, Tersagi's bearing capacity equation was based on a general shear failure and not on the local or punching shear failure. So, kung alin yung uh, catastrophic in nature, yun na yung in ni uh, Tersagi in deriving uh, his ultimate bearing capacity equation. So, that will be all for the introduction on the assumptions of the ultimate bearing capacity equation according to uh, Carl von Tersagi. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.